I know how you guys feel. I get it. The anxiety of getting in one of these cars and driving it, I know. Y'all remember I told you, fix the little things on your car so you're more comfortable driving it. Well, today that's what we're going to do. Now, this may not sound like a big deal to some of you guys because I know you drive your cars a lot. But for me, I don't actually drive my cars a whole lot just because we got so many and we got so much stuff going on. So we just want to check our oil. Mmm, see? Look at that. We're actually low. Now, this car does have a header leak, so I really probably don't need to drive it, but I think I'm going to drive it either way. Now, I know a lot of you don't like additives. You don't believe in it. It's junk. Let me tell you something. This is some of the best shit you can get. If you don't believe me, go check out Project Farm on YouTube. So, I always like to add a little bit of this to my cars. It's just such good stuff. Not that that's probably had time to get down to the bottom of the oil pan yet, but eh, yeah, it did actually. So we actually put a little too much in there. <laughs> I don't think it's that bad. All right, come on, baby. Check 
I had planned on videoing from Papa T's house, but that didn't work out. We got busy on his Ford Ranger trying to fix a column issue on it. So I didn't have a chance to really video over there. But the whole point of this drive was to let you guys know that I'm out here trying. I'm getting out of my comfort zone. I'm driving these cars and I want to enjoy them just like you guys do, right? And I also know that a lot of you are worried and concerned just like I am. So I know that we didn't drive it hours and hours and hours away but I drove it roughly, it's about 50 minutes roughly, 45, 50 minutes, one way, 70, 75 mile an hour. And then I had to drive it back just a couple hours later. The car did great. A few things that could cause some concern is uh, the temperature was great this morning, but it was also like 40 degrees. Then on the way back, it was like, I don't know, mid fifties. So that little bit of difference, the car was running warmer, but still not hot or anything like that, but definitely, kind of caused me to be concerned for the summer months. I'm either gonna look into a high flow thermostat or either just drill a big ass hole in this one to see if we can't get a little more flow out of this because I feel like it's just not flowing enough, but I may be wrong on that. There's also a lot of stuff going on underneath this hood and it's just going to run hot. This is an SVE radiator. These things usually do really good keeping a car cool. I know we don't have any like head gasket leaks or anything like that. That was what I needed, y'all. That was that was a spark I needed. So now I'm not scared to drive this thing back and forth to work. I'm not scared to, you know, go a little further with it. I believe this car will be fine on a five, six hour cruise. Uh, I don't really see an issue with it other than it might not like it in the summer months. It may seem like a little thing, but I promise you this was a big step for me. And I took this big step because I want you guys to see that I'm out here doing it too. I was nervous as hell, but it has to be done, right? I gotta get out there, I gotta drive this thing. You know, I've got a trailer sitting around back. If I had to, you know, I, me and my dad could have went and got the trailer and loaded the car up and brought it back home. Uh, it was worth it though. I got a smile on my face, I'm happy today, I'm happy. Get out, drive your cars. But first off, <laughs> go out there and fix the little things. If you got a little oil leak, a little drip, work on that, try to fix it. You got some rattles, some vibrations, a belt that's maybe misaligned like this car was. Um, if at all possible, get out, work on it. But the big thing is drive the cars. Drive them, guys. That's what they're here for. That's the only way you're truly going to enjoy your cars if you get out and drive it. All right. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this one up. And as always, thanks for watching.